you prosecuted uh, multiple BMPs, BTRs. Uh, I'm Jim Hansen of the Center for Security Policy. We are now known as Secure Freedom. Welcome to the Free Fire Zone. And in the Free Fire Zone today is Sergeant Bo Bergdahl. After a fairly lengthy delay, it was announced that he will face charges of desertion for leaving his unit and his post in Afghanistan. He was eventually scarfed up by our enemies and spent about five years in captivity being held by the Haqqani network. Last summer, President Obama made a deal with our enemies to bring Bergdahl home. Now that brings up two very important questions. Number one, should he have brought him home? And the answer to that is absolutely yes. Bergdahl is still a U.S. soldier. And until he's convicted of the crime of desertion, he will be treated like one. We don't leave our own on the battlefield, especially in the hands of our enemy. He needed to come home to face U.S. justice, not be left to the injustice of our enemies. The second question is, did we pay too high a price for his release? And the answer to that is also absolutely yes. We released five senior terrorist leaders who our troops are quite likely to run into again on the battlefield. And to make it even worse, we almost certainly paid a significant cash ransom to seal the deal. You see, Bergdahl wasn't being held by the Taliban or Al-Qaeda. He was being held by the Haqqani network. And they've got a lot more in common with the Soprano family than with either of those terrorist groups. They held him for five years and had about 200 of their people involved in keeping him hidden away. They got to get paid, and they said so as a contingency of the deal. So we paid a terrorist crime group to make this deal happen. This may have seemed like a good idea last summer. Obama sure thought so when he was taking pictures with Bergdahl's parents in the Rose Garden and his national security advisor, Susan Rice, was telling us Bergdahl served with honor and distinction? <laughs> He'll get to explain that to a jury of his peers soon, and I don't think they're going to have a whole lot of sympathy for someone who walked off and left his comrade at arms to take up the slack for him. Killer 5-5, five five, good impact. And a one seven, one six now before pushing. One, and your spot straight down, three feet. There's two. And what hitches?